Hello guys, it's Nato Ace. And I want to give my thoughts on the recent announcement from Capcom for Street Fighter V. So, November, there was a Capcom Pro Tour tournament. I think it's the regional finals, that's what it's called. And at the end of that event, Ono, who's in charge of Street Fighter V, revealed something new for, well, Street Fighter V. And surprisingly, it is something good. Yes, if you've been following about this game for a while, there was some, let's just say, ups and downs of the game. Of course, in the beginning, the lack of content. Ono did say that, and he said the games will be sort of a servant, that we will add more features in the long run. And the timing is just, let's just say it's not good. Of course, characters, roadmap was kind of... Uh, you know, again, he it just, it's not really spot on, and you know the story about it. So, of course, you know what happened during EVO 2019. Steam accidentally leaked the three new characters. So, oh no, couldn't really show anything new f during the finals. But now, surprisingly, oh no, kind of made up for this one in the regional finals. And that is, first, they revealed the next new character for Street Fighter V. Which I'm surprised also, like, wow. I mean, there've been a lot of this, a lot of characters to pick from, but you just went for this character, I'm surprised. And it is sort of interesting. It's an existing character, but at the same time, technically it's a new character, and I'll explain that later. And then of course, in 2020, Street Fighter V will have another, let's just say, reiteration called Champion Edition. And again, before it, before people say, oh my gosh, another version I have to buy. No, just like arcade mode, Ono did specify this since 2016. In Street Fighter V, you do not have to buy the new disc physical version or the new digital game version. It's a free update. If you have Street Fighter V, look without to arcade mode or arcade edition free update. The same goes with Champion Edition. On February, I think, well, 2020, let's just go there. I forgot what the date is. It will update to Street Fighter V Champion Edition. So, yes, the next character, or the 39th character is Gil. And for people who don't know who this character is, he is the end boss to the Street Fighter 3 franchise. Whether Street Fighter 3, the new generation, Giant Attack, or Third Strike, he's always been the boss character, and in the arcade, he wasn't really playable. Yes, in the console version, whether it's the 15th Anniversary Collection or Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition, you get to play Gale. It depends on which console you're using, either DLC or or some sort of like uh, what, unlockable thing. But in Street Fighter V, finally, it's official. He is an official playable character. So it's not OP, it's not unbalanced. They're probably going to balance the character. So it, I'm kind of shocked there. So you might say, is that really a new character or not? Technically, to some extent, it is a new character because he's finally, officially, a playable character. But the interesting part about Gil is that out of the Street Fighter 3 roster, they just went to the head honcho, to the final boss, the big man, the super cheesy boss, you could say to some extent, because in Street Fighter 3, like I said, it's OP, plus he actually has another move well, he's one of his super, it does high damage if you don't block it. And at the same time, he has an ability to resurrect himself. So that's why it's kind of like the OG super final boss, SK level type boss. And now he's officially a balanced, playable character, which is kind of interesting also because I was always thinking that maybe in Street Fighter V, they're going to finally have a final boss and it would be Gil. A character that's not really playable because it's a boss character, but I guess, well, still, Gil now 
officially balanced playable character. So my question really also, I've been thinking about it, who is the ultimate final boss for Street Fighter V? Will it be somebody original like Kronika in Mortal Kombat 11 or Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 9? But to some extent, Shinnok in Mortal Kombat X or 10, but there's also boss Shinnok. So I think they're going to go to approach of boss type characters. So what I mean by that is they kind of did this before. I know in Street Fighter 2, to some extent, the later version, even so Bison is playable. The CPU version of Bison, if you reach the final end, the 12 stage or whatever, Street Fighter 2, it's called Boss Bison because it does more damage. And of course, in Street Fighter Alpha 3, you can tell Boss Bison because he has his ultra super psycho crusher. Kind of funny there, but again, you can play as Bison or you have Boss Bison. And Street Fighter 4, set. Well, to some extent, Seth is just really unbalanced. And even if you play him, I think he's unbalanced. I could be wrong, but I don't know about that. So maybe in Street Fighter V, there's Boss Bison. Now there's Boss Gil. I mean, heck, there's even Boss Akuma or Shin Akuma that's based on... The funny thing is, Capcom versus SNK2, the design with the white hair. But of course, spoiler in story-wise... The regular Akuma, the one that looks like with a lion face, he is actually Shin Akuma. But that's a different story there, the lower part of Street Fighter. But again, back to Gil. What's my thoughts about Gil being officially a playable balanced character? I think it's interesting. It's like, to some extent, I have to say, some more left field, but you know it's a right field because, you know, again, people want to play Gil. And the reason sort of a left field, I kind of felt that is they could have put a lot of better characters in Street Fighter 3, my opinion. Let's just say Dudley, he looks, I can see why people like him. Street Fighter 4, I enjoy playing with Dudley. Uh, let's see, Sean, people wanted Sean, another, I know, weird, modified wannabe Shoto. There's Oro, he's been in the story mode, so why not Oro? Remy, I mean, the Capcom version of Iori. Uh, who else I can think of that's uh, worth basically in Street Fighter 3? I mean, Alina, Yun and Yang, maybe. Ah, uh, man. Uh, Necro, I guess. But interesting part, they just went, you know what? We're just going to make Gil a playable character. So, again, we're going to have to wait and see. I think it's going to be interesting. I am planning to get the Champion Edition upgrade for $25 because I already have Street Fighter V there. So, yeah, I mean, still, there's going to be another surprise in the Capcom Cup. They're going to reveal the final 48 character. And I think this is the weird part is, I could be wrong, but I think that Gil and the 48 character are the last batch of Season 4 characters. I know Season 4, they made it weird. There's no Season Pass. It was for Skagi in December 2018, and then it was a long sporadic until August of 2019 of EVO with your Honda, Lucia, and Poison, and then now the fifth character, I'm just going to guess that, Gil. I mean, it was weird that you introduced Gil first, so who is going to be the 40th character? It has to be something more interesting. And the only one I can think of that's more interesting than Gil could be Seth. So maybe Seth. Now you're going to have the boss from Street Fighter 2, the boss from Street Fighter 3, and now the boss from Street Fighter 4. Maybe somebody new again. I mean, they already have, well, technically again, three new characters. You got Kage. Yes, people might say, oh, well, she's an evil Ryu. Well, he doesn't really play sort of a evil Ryu. He's like a modified version. And again, I'm probably going to give my thoughts on Street Fighter 5, the whole shebang, how it's way different in Street Fighter 4. Not only just the game itself, but their moveset. And I'm probably going to be talking about it in the lore side, why? Not the function side, because a lot of people already talk about that, so I don't need to talk about that part. But again, Kage, sort of a new character. Lucia, that's a new character. 
from Final Fight 3, a very obscure Final Fight game because it's in the Super Nintendo. But yeah, you see ya. I'm surprised that even oh no basically knew about Lucia. And then now you got Kill, who's again, like I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, a playable official balanced character. So it's not gonna be OP like it's Street Fighter 3. He is a very balanced character. And that's gonna be interesting. And again, that character's gonna come out I think the day after Capcom Cup 2019, uh, along, along with the 48 character, but we'll just have to wait and see that one. So there you go, my thoughts about Gil. Interesting. I think this is going to be sort of a interesting for Street Fighter V. I know the history about Street Fighter V it was ups and down. It started bad, it got interesting, then it got boring a bit, and then the new character sort of say, yeah, the Honda, so that completes the World Warrior, and then now Gil. We'll just have to wait and see. So, with that, I'll see you guys later.